So we're obviously here now in Sweden and uh, Gary's been luckily enough to drive us across town and we're going to a little tackle shop known as Soda Sports Fisk. This is what every UK tackle shop should every be like. Every UK tackle shop should be like. So if it's not like this, ask him why.
av Pike Fight 2016. Årets Pike Fighters är Söder Sportfiske. Oh, ja, bra. Oh, 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 oh. No two work the same. Every time there's something do different. And a lot of people say to us, oh, they go to one side. And it's oh, yeah. that bit that goes to one side that's the catcher. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean, some of the best ones I've had have turned on the side, have keeled yeah. over and come up sideways, but it's, I don't know why, but they just look well, that That's bit. classic with all like the handmade lures. People yeah. come back and it's like, oh, this one this didn't swim as well, so yeah, yeah. I want to return it. It's like, okay, but what do you mean? Yeah, it goes up to the side. Yeah. It's like, okay, I take that. Yeah, it's, like, can, it's weird, quirky little bits make them work. Of course, but that's... Especially on Squidabirds, look, Squidabirds. Look injured. Yeah, and that's what you're trying to replicate. I've yeah. always thought that anyway. And then most people they want, or most people that buy their lures, they want the perfect straight retrieve. They shouldn't spin or doing anything <laughs> yeah. weird. Yeah. Yeah. But we all know that baits rigged a bit wrong that goes a bit of yeah, irregularity. Yeah, 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 it just true. works best. But, uh, true. That's the why the best rubber baits are the ones that kick up on the side when you read them too fast. Or yeah. Yeah. You can do it yourself. They shouldn't spin, of course, like a fucking yeah, spinner. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. They should be just a bit of irregular and that's good. But sometimes irregular is good. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. it's good. Definitely. But, uh, most of the times I I think it's not. But that's the same, especially with the tail baits. Uh, most people want a tail bait that rolls in the water with the tail. Yeah. Uh, I don't want that because then it's steady, the same. Steady body tail. Yeah. Yeah. Because if you if it rolls in the water, then I can use a shad jig instead. Gosh, yeah. Good. But I want them to go like a fucking spear. Yeah, yeah. Just the tail straight. movement. Yeah. Um, slow, slow. If you want. Yeah. yeah. And the same with the phantom tails. If you change that one to a bit bigger tail and just retrieve them slowly, they they will wobble like. Super little, yeah. but it's really good on big yeah. fish. Um, we've, we've got those. We've got the large version of those. Large version we've got in Nepal. Yeah, is it? Yeah. The next what is it? The the are great. What if it takes seven and a half? Seven and a half. Do you have mango book and an size story? Um, what are ordinary tails? Ordinary tails. Then I use that size. Uh, any good? Something. Yeah, the big fish ones. Yeah. They do work really well. And they're really cool because. Uh, the only thing he hasn't made himself on this bait is actually like the screw in uh, the, the ice. Or right, everything it. else is made. Uh, this he puts out of uh, aluminium himself. Yep. He molds the tails himself. Right. And then of course, he didn't prove the fucking tree. But, uh, <laughs> right, okay, yeah, but, <laughs> yeah. but it's still like, they're, they're proper handmade. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. And that one is, of course, that Southers uh, yep. on it. And we have like two of them, like special ones. Uh, oh, you have the other one. <laughs> <laughs> and that one you're holding there, that's one of my like favorite colors for river fishing. Yeah. Uh, good out, out in the archipelago on that, and, uh, that sort of brown. Yeah, it's kind of uh, brim colored. Yeah. yeah. Yep. It's really nice. But my favorite like overall is you know red and black. Red and black. Uh, if you have the cloudy days, uh, doesn't matter if it's kind of clear water, but just the red and black. Is yep. Yep. Also I told them all for, um, yeah, for yeah, red and black. Red and black. Yeah. Really nice. I'll get one of them as well. Yeah. <laughs> the thing is, it actually came from sea trout black, fishing. Yeah. Because here in Stockholm, uh, the red and black in sea trout lures are called Nolotta, which is the area code for Stockholm. So if you go up north fishing for sea trout, people will be like, oh, you're from Stockholm because you have red and blacks. And they caught so much big pike on them while fishing sea trout. So right. that's why, you know, everybody's making the kind of red tigers yeah, red and, and stuff. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, Robert, you sold out of this overlooked uh, color. Uh, red and black. Yeah. On you sold out as a buster. Yeah, we only have the red tiger flash, I think, in Big yeah. Bandit. Um, My red tigers, one of them is completely white. Yeah. It's been smashed a yeah. million times. And it's the first buster jerk I ever bought about, I think it was about seven, eight years ago. Walked into the small store and walked into him. And I was like, uh, oh, I'm gonna pike fish. Help me. Like a red and black. And, and, and it, the Drutten. Yeah. One. And both two of my favorite yeah. colors, Drutten yeah. and uh, yeah, Fur Shad, whatever you want to call yeah. it. Yeah. Or uh, it's kind of a. And, and that red and black fire tiger, whatever you want to call it. Mm. Not the fire. Was it red tiger? Red tiger. Yeah. But that's the thing, like red tiger, since it's kind of our color, uh, we made it on bo in Buster like eight years ago or something, ten years ago. Uh, we always want. Red tiger in our collection when we yeah. make custom colors. Yeah. But the problem is like Bestine already had the red tiger, so we made these ones. We made a, but a dot. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah. A red, red and black, but pike. a pike instead. Oh, yeah. Why red and black though? What's I can't see why. Man United fans. Uh, for me, it's like I usually fish like the the fire tiger is my. Well, yeah, yeah. That with the black stripes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but I fish this one in sunshine, but with a lot of you know color to the water. Yeah. And this one is my you know. 
colour to the water, but... Uh, well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to swap mine, because I ain't got a red and black one. <laughs> but that's I'll nice have, too. I'll have a red and black. Yeah. I've never had a red and black. You don't get any hooks for that one. <laughs> I might have to nick some hooks or something. <laughs> what I'm going to do, I'm going to show what I've got. Yeah, just get a bit sad. Literally. <laughs> Hey bro. You know it's our anti bitch as usual. What size should I be? Hey. Fuck's that? <laughs> Kill me. Alright. <laughs> Fuck's that's going. Mucky milk. Yeah, right, so we did a brew. We've just been on a massive whirlwind tour of Sweden and Stockholm and everything. Bleach. Canal gratis. <laughs> Canal gratis. So just, and so well, it's, yeah. It's just been crazy. Well, like yeah. I say, you've seen a little bit of footage that you've just You've just seen from the shop, and we're basically like, oh, what actually happened? Well, we went round the shop. I'm stood there with one load in my hand like an idiot, because I didn't know what else to do. And by I was like lost. After being in there for, I'm not even kidding, after being in there for an hour and a half, yeah, yeah Gally came and rescued us, and Alex and just went, we're off some food. Yeah. So I went for dinner, uh, had something to eat, and I went back in and just basically just grabbed some, a few things that we were like a bit of a dash. So that's just ridiculous. Mm. So I thought we'd show you a bit of what we bought. You could literally spend a week in it. Oh. In them, honestly, in soda sports space, you could spend a solid week and miss something. I, I went in for the I went in for the weighted wolf tail. Didn't buy one. Yeah, I, got I went one. in to look at reels. Didn't buy. <coughs> I went to buy rigs for Miss Offloads. Didn't yeah. buy any. Yeah. You just get. I, I saw. You know, like a wolf tail and like junior wolf tails. Yeah, I saw wolf some tail. some some handmade. No, they want Walter, but that sort of thing where you, uh, uh, you know, a jerk bit from the tail at the back, and I thought, hey, we're going to ace for perch. Yeah. I couldn't find them. I don't know what. I'm sure they'll find them. I walked around the shop three times, I couldn't find them. I was waiting until last night, they might be able to hook us up. So, first of all, I went to the Canal Grace. Canal Grace, stuff. Yeah. I don't know, son. You've got to get some classics, haven't you? I've got juniors. Giant pink, Chad. Juniors, juniors. Custom pike, I think that's custom pike pool as well, don't you? Yeah, I think a lot of them are like that. Yeah. Canal Grace ones. Yeah, so. The giant one. Hashtag, got to get the hashtag Buster Jerk. Come to Sweden, you need Buster Jerk. We've got to get the hashtag one. So. Shallow rigs. Because we've got quite a few soft plastics, so a couple of shallow rigs there. Yeah. And uh, Sarah gave us some stickers as well. Bless her. She also wanted my phone number, but I couldn't give her it. Yeah, I know. Pestering you for that one. I'm sick of that sort of thing happening, but unfortunately, I'm an happily married man, so. Well, might not be when my wife sees on the top. <laughs> Where do we go next, Paul? Where's so the next. Now, this were a bit more expensive, this shop, because we ended up getting a bit more, but I mean, to be fair, there's so much in there, it's ridiculous, isn't it? It could have been ridiculous. So, I got robbed because I got a custom, a custom lure. Yeah, but you're going to soda, you've got to get a soda, aren't you? Yeah, Paul got one with hooks on, I didn't. <laughs> And apparently you ask for the you ask at the shop and they give you them, but I never saw that. So these are really really nice. So it's good because it's, it's I mean oaks cost twenty pence. Yeah, but it's a lot of money. Twenty pence. So they're really nice. That's mine. Oh, yeah. So don't need. Obviously you can see what colours it is. Classic cast tiger colours. That's why I put it. Ouch. Then we got this is on Alex recommendation. Did we buy just buy the same loads? Yeah, sort of. Hellhound. Is that a hellhound? Oh, but I've got one. I didn't realise you actually bought one. They're hellhounds, aren't they? Yeah. Hellhounds. I apparently they're really, really well over here. Yeah, I couldn't tell you its size or... But it's that one. White one. Waiting. Plastic bags are a bad idea, aren't yeah. they? Then we've got this, which has been a fantastic catcher for me. And it really... Why is it, why is it going on? It, Bob? Oh, I know why it's over. So that's um, a wolf tail, but it's a sinking version, which weighs quite a lot. They're much nicer. The problem with wolf tails is we have to re-weight them to get them to any sort of depth, otherwise they stay quite shallow on surface. So that's a weighted version, which weighs quite a lot. It's, it's a nice weight, that. So we're gonna, we're, well, I meant to buy one I forgot. But Ed's got his, his super pink one. So yeah. we're going to fish that tomorrow. And if we really think they're any better, we're going to be telling Martin to get some weighted ones, because I think the only if we got shallow version last time. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if mine... What, that's can, really nice, that. I don't know what it is. It's just a shallow swim yeah. bait, it just goes like that, I think. You saw, you saw probably earlier, I don't if I put the footage in. It's JW with loads, and with loads of different loads you could do it, but it's got a, it's like a jerk bait with a paddle tail. But obviously the paddle tail's solid, and apparently it's a bit more of a 
So I'll have to learn that. I'll have to learn that a little yeah. bit. It's just something different. You know, you're going to come to Sweden, you're going to get some custom made and. Sports on good tails, yeah, which so. turn a normal jerk bait into a tail bait, yeah. which is going to be quite interesting to use. Paul got, Paul got the white one with the red dot everybody talks about, but I got bright yellow to go with me other those. Then I got a find of a century. Anybody who knows me, who fishes with me, will know that I, I love my big soft plastics and especially my whale tails. Unfortunately, Sovereign Superbaits used to supply them all. They, they sold all the stock, in fact they sold all of them to me. Uh, so I've still got about eight or nine long black ones, but I'm out of every other colour bar, an orange one, I lost my yellow one not long ago. Oh, oh, oh! You little beauty. Now I don't think there's that... Uh, I, I don't think these are that expensive. I don't think these were that expensive, but I don't even know what price it was. Put it in so I got silver, which is just a good. I'm going to ring that up for tomorrow. I'm going to shallow ring that one up for tomorrow. I got red and silver, and I've also got a yellow and black one. You've got as well. You've got three. I got three. Have you noticed? Put them in separate bags, so yeah, they must yeah. bleed into each other. Yeah, yeah. So that's a yellow so and black version. Don't look at receipt. Yeah, don't look at receipt. Look. And I, I. I picked up a couple of gear gums while we're in just Yeah, because them. like we haven't got enough gear gums off Alex. <laughs> Alex, I mean to be fair, today Alex has really yeah. the lads at Gator and, and Leech have done us proud today. Yeah. We've just got so much gear, it's ridiculous. And then the last shot we went to was Lundgren's, which is 125 year old in uh, two weeks. It's a small shop, I mean yeah. Yeah, it's, it's not it's, massive, it's not but massive it's literally got But it's like a small shop with a million and one things crammed. To in. the ceiling. It's just got everything on it. Yeah, you look up in the ceiling, there's stuff dangling down, it's yeah. just brilliant. So, and it was one, one of those bad boys. Now, Gary's given us some of these as well, so yeah. we've, we've got a bit of a mixture. But that's an nice feel lower. That's what, you, you, when you come to these places, you've got to try these ones. You see it, we see them all the time. Eastfield, yeah. those. Yeah. And I've got uh, a deeper, that's a Storm RIP um, Stinger set with weights. That's a Wolf Creek Shad. I don't know what the proper name for it is, but it's one of the Wolf Creek ones. Yeah, they're lovely. And then like that. And then we've got some triple, uh, we've got some triple swivels as well, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. They're triple good. swivels for Beck and Stingers. Now, we're, we've been reliably informed that very, very shortly we're going to be getting uh, Leech Stroke Gator Stingers coming out very, very shortly. So, that's Wolf, that's what you've got Wolf Creek. You've Wolf it. Creek? I thought it was Wolf Tail. No, it's a Wolf Creek. It's a little Creek. Wolf Creek. It's like a wolf tail, but yeah. a custom made, awesome painted blue. And I've gone for a, a red colour because I've not got red so far. Spells danger, doesn't it? So I think we've, right. we've done okay. I mean, there's a, there's a few bit there. Yeah, some bits and bobs. You couldn't notice you've got loads. Stuff, but. Yeah, I've got some like um, these little glass beads that go in tails at soft plastics. It just gives them a little bit of extra. I mean, only thing is obviously. Um, Stuff like squirrely birds have already got ball bearings inside them, so you get that rattle. But soft plastics don't have that, so if you get one of those in tail, you get that little bit of extra pulse, that little, little extra bit of shock at pike, and the home into that sort of thing. Like I say, we've got the triple, we've got the triple swivels as well at Mecca's own stingers. Now we have come across a massive problem. When we came, you've got a suitcase and a hand baggage. Yes. And I've not got the foggiest. I'm going to get all this gear back. Nay. Because we've got all the gear stuff. Yes. All the leech stuff. Um, Shall I get the stuff and show the gear? What we've got right quickly? Dun, dun, dun. First of all, we got the new warm hoodies, which quite a few people have asked us about. These are lovely. They're so warm, it's ridiculous at the pole. Yeah. But he made these well, he got all these ready while we were there and made them all in front of us, so that's really nice. We've got the brand new, just out. You'll have to, um, let me just make sure you're on video here. Yeah, because I might be a bit too far away. I'm, a fa I'm too far yeah, away. You too, you too, uh, one sec, I'll zoom out. I can't zoom out far enough. Is that a car? One sec. We'll go into mobile viewing mode. Do you want me to put it on? No, I've seen you I've seen you performing trying to put clothes on. Thanks very much. So, uh, from Leech and Gator Boys, we've got brand new, complete, <laughs> How to lay you know when you were clothes. Eddie was stood there in a little t-shirt quivering. Yeah, we were it was cold. <laughs> it's, it's cold over here, and we obviously we were a little bit worried. Um, 
I mean, it's just it's just good quality stuff. There's you know, it's got so little, there's so many little quirky bits on it. We can't even go through them all now, can we? We'll be out on it. That's our thing now, isn't it? Yeah, we'll be out on it. We'll, yeah, we'll be out with this tomorrow. Uh, this is first day of fishing tomorrow. But it's, it's just nuts, you know, reflective strips and stuff. It's it's all like a little bit of like neoprene, so it's all you know, it's all breathable. Um, so that's your outer outer pants, and then we've also got. I've got the leech big pike crew jackets, what the lads wore for uh, Fly vs Jerk with leech gear and Lawrence. So they use their Lawrence gear, all stormproof or windproof. They've got a built in hood in there as well, which keeps you nice and warm. It's just, there's just so many nice little things, but one thing I'll show you that I really liked. I'll put my arm into proof to show you if this works. If you look inside, inside here, there. That's like a stormproof cuff, so it's made of like a, f a foam rubber. What that does, it stops. If you, if you, anybody who does any lure fishing, will, will explain more than anybody who's bait fishing, I suppose. But what you do a lot is you lift it rod up all the time, and your reel's got a load of water in it, and it runs down your wrists, runs straight down your arms. So what you do, you get wet through in here. So you've got an internal cuff. Where you get your external, and you go over top of that, like that. So you're literally going to get. There's nothing can get through there then cold wind wet or anything so it's just it's just nice quality gear isn't it Paul? Yep. We're going to be so made up with this and it's uh, hopefully going to do the job. It's all good quality stuff. Do you think we've got any flowers? Should we go back tomorrow? No, no we, we can't afford to go back tomorrow. <laughs> Not when our wife finds out. What, you, can, you can set up an account? No, you can like pay weekly and stuff, pay monthly. I know. Do you dare go back? Yeah, let's do it. Thank you.